Ladies and gentlemen, grab a seat, because it's time again, for Panda's show and tell. Now then, here's Panda and, the Colonel. Jolly good. come on I'm not sure it's been a while ah oh, the zap hello zap welcome to <clears throat> oh from the people who brought you excuse me let me turn that down buzzing and air conditioning on. from the people who brought you shooting the strings drink beer don't you fall off that chair don't you fall off that chair panda these are not the droids you're looking for, Panda. Thank you. Great tones, yes. Uh, from the people who brought you shooting the strings, drink beer, play guitar, the quiz show, and uh, what was it? The power hole. Comes Panda's <clears throat> show and tell. Leap off the couch, Panda, and show them what you have today. Leap up and show... Leap, leap, leap up. Okay. Good afternoon. <clears throat> it's been a while. It's been a while. I hope I'm coming through all right. Um, this is a new program we have. It's called Panda Show and Tell here at the uh, headquarters of Guitar Colonel and Panda here in Hawthorne. Um, we haven't been on for a couple of years, actually. We had lockdown and you know what? It is what it is, but I'm back with a little bit of Panda show and tell. Good afternoon, Panda just, no, 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 uh, see, uh, Panda's taken a bit, no, 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 okay, there we go. And down, and down, the sedatives are not working too well. You may hear a bit of background noise, it's quite hot here today in Melbourne, it's 37 or something, so I've got every form of cooling on that I can. Speaking of cooling, moving right along. Altitude 435 Pale Ale by my friends at Red Duck. I'm going to turn up my, my volume. There we go. My friends at Red Duck have given me a pale ale to try. So shall we pop it open? I know it's not drink beer, play guitar, but we can still have a beer. How is everybody? <coughs> there we go. Yes, Panda, it's beer. Uh, today I thought we'd have a look at strap type things. Yes, why not? Hmm. Oh, but first, oh my God, we still have a few um, viewer messages to um, to play you, and uh, what we're going to do is read out some viewer messages first, and then maybe play some guitars and things. Uh, so. We'll get to those in a minute as I just look up my messages. Here we are. There we go. But this is quite nice. A pale ale. Mm. 
Let's read what it says. Okay, it says, for children over the age of 12. Okay, that's fair. It makes sense. Um, this is best uh, drunk with uh, pork, pork crackling and meat. I love meat and I love pork crackling. Do not drive if under 10, over 10 beers, over 10 beers. Do not drive if you've had over 10 of these. So, children over 12, meat and driving after 10, but oh, below 10. Let's keep it serious for the children. Okay. Mm. Let's get some viewer feedback going. Uh, this is from John in uh, Sydney, doesn't say where. <laughs> this is not from John. Um, this is, <laughs> I don't know if I can read this out. This is from Amanda in Brisbane. I'm from Brisbane. This kind of makes sense. Amanda writes, dear Colonel, dear Panda, everything I know about sex, I learn from bars. Liquor, liquor in the front. <laughs> Liquor in the front. But, okay, I can't say that one. <clears throat> Amanda, we can't say that one. Um, here we are. Bum, bum, bum. Um, no, I can't read any of these. Okay. We might need to do... Oh, here's, here's one. This is from Sarah. Sarah's mum in Darwin. Sarah's mum writes, Dear Colonel, how... Do you pick up an archaeologist? Tell them you've got a bone to discover. Oh my God, thank you. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, it's good to be back. Who's on with us? Michael Zapp, over 12, that counts me out. You're young, man. You're a young person. You're probably not that young anymore, Michael Zapp. How is your restaurant in Brunswick going? Now, promote it if you can. We have no one watching, so we have to build up our audience again. Might as well promote whatever you want. Here with me today, we have strap type things. Let's have a look. This is a master built Fender 61. And I was playing that at the beginning. This is by Yuri Shishkebab, Shish, Shish Shishkov. He's Russian and he lives in America. Uh, he does a good job. It's a sensational guitar. Let's have a listen. I can do a little bit of a double demo here today. So I've got it belting through the, um, through the fractal, Friedman. But I also have it going out of the Friedman today into a room wedge. So we're going through the audio system, but into the headphones and to you. But I've also got a mic on the wedge. <laughs> Ooh. And just to be fair <clears throat> to everyone, oh my god, here we go, let's knock things over here. I'm going to switch. Ooh. Oop, I'll just uh, mute that for one second. We can switch and we can switch somewhere, can we? Oh, we can't switch. I see. Oh, okay, wait a second. Okay, I'm just going to put this guy here for a moment. We can switch between fake amp and real amp. Ooh. This is going through the Blues Junior. That's a bridge pickup. Sounds pretty cool. How cool is that? It's amazing. All right, we'll get rid of that. You back to the shred machine. Michael Zapp is on. He has a restaurant in. Um, uh, he has a restaurant in. <clears throat> Brunswick here in Melbourne and uh, it's called Baba Hawker. Does that mean like Daddy Hawker or something? 
If you've just joined us, this is Panda's Show and Tell. Where Panda, you can see, uh, that's her over there sitting on the couch. We don't have guests anymore, we just have me and the dog. Cutbacks. That's what's happened. Uh, so we drink beer, like this. Hmm. And we uh, demo some guitars. So this is a master built strap. I think we might demo it again. Let's demo it to the um, Dick Pleash. Hello. It's General Pleash. Hello, General Pleash. Tell Panda Matilda says hello. <clears throat> Panda and Matilda. Um, Mr. Dick Pleash, formerly of, a, of the NAM. Dick and I were in the NAM together <clears throat> many years ago. And when I say NAM, I mean deep in the shears. And uh, that was a long time ago, it was 68, 67. I might look a little bit younger, but I really, I was there. And we saw, we saw some shears. And speaking of shears, when I left Panda with uh, General Pleash over in the West, and when I went on a holiday, Panda ate their cat food, and Panda was in the shears. Panda for, was in the shears for many days. All right, let's do it. Master Built Strat, a cheesy backing track from my heyday of the 70s. Let's listen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Master Built Strat by Yuri the Russian from, he sounds like a wrestler. Yuri the Russian, what do you think of that, Panda? Lift your head up and talk. She can talk, she just has chosen not to. Let's switch, oh, excuse me, the beer. Master Built Strat, be gone. Um, now, we're gonna put this near Panda, we're gonna grab, oh, shit, what am I gonna do? Here we go. Oh my god, I have to be delicate with this one. Now this may, for fender people out there, ooh, I might tune it. This may cause you to have a conniption. This is a PRS. Um, who's that guy again? Who's that guy? It's a PRS John Mayer. And John, well he likes fenders, but um, he decided he didn't like them enough, so he went to PRS and he developed the Silver Sky. And this is not just any Silver Sky. This has John Mayer DNA all over it. He made sure as it left the factory. And it's a custom colour. Oh, listen to that. It's almost in tune. It's a custom colour. Um, and I think there were two custom colours. Also, people out there know better than me. Um, but uh, Mr. Mayer had a couple of custom colours. We had, uh, no, 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 uh, sit there, Panda. And down, and down, and there we go. Down you go. Uh, the drugs. Obviously not strong enough, so we need to up Panda's dosage. Now, maybe we can go a little bit clean. Can we go clean on this? Can we go a little bit cleaner? Here, a Silver Sky custom colour, and I have to say, I don't know what it is, but they seem to play a bit better. Does someone know? Is there something else about them? Now, 
I'll tell you what, let's do a switch. Let's switch amps. Let's go to a real amp. It even has buzzing and stuff in it, like a real amp. Oh my god, okay. Oh. Here we go. Real amp. Blues Junior clean. Oh, speaking of clean. Have I spoken to you about... Sorry, let me turn a little bit. Have I spoken to you about Red Duck Altitude Pale Ale? They sell this exclusively at Barber Hawker in Brunswick. You can have 10 of these. And you can drive home. Not if you're between the ages of 12 and 16. Is that... Can you drive then? I grew up in Brisbane. You can just drive when you feel like driving. You feel like driving? Ah, I'm going to drive. Uh, Red Duck. Altitude Pale Ale. Because for people who like to drive home. Right. Okay. Let's have a listen. So we have Pale Ale down, Panda down. Um, PRS. Silver Sky, custom colour, clean. Oh, it's like a jazz guitar. Some Hendrix. That's blowing the mic. Uh, that was the neck. That is the PRS clean through my little Blues Junior, the world's most used Blues Junior. Let's switch back, folks. Let's put on the Sergeant Pleash porno music soundtrack. Play along with it. it reminds us of being in the NAM together. Let's give it some wallop. Ooh, fun. All right, here we go. This is um, D minor. D minor. Is that a word, Panda? What do you think about it? Two paws up or two paws down? Hmm. Panda's not too fast on it. But that is a Piera Silver Sky custom color. It's not the Nebula because we sold that to a, a gentleman in the US. Um, if, my, if there's a, a whirling sound in the back of my audio, please let me know because... Oh, there we go. Yeah, because uh, I've got all the fans on. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But anyway, we're down here in Hawthorne. We've moved shop since our last broadcast. We used to be in South Melbourne. 
There's a few things I miss about South Melbourne. Um, actually, no, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving right along. Who's joining us? Who's on with us now? We have Dick Pleach and Michael Zapp. Uh, Michael Zapp, there is, but it's fine. Tell Panda eh, eh? I'm lost. I'm lost with my comments. Anyway, uh, welcome if you're just joining us. It's been a long time. I'm going to start streaming to YouTube as well, try and do this uh, panda show and tell. Mm. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the folks from Red Duck. Let's change. So that is the PRS Silver Sky. Uh, man, it plays great, I have to say. It's really incredible. So, okay. Yeah. I played one of these years ago, but I didn't really like it. But this one I like. It's it's kind of cool. Okay, we're going to put this over here. And we're going to reach over near Panda. What have you got for us today, Panda? Let's have a look. What is it? Is it blue? Panda's blind now, but let's test her. Is it blue? Is it? She doesn't know. Okay. Now this, my friends. Uh, some of you may not. Hang, excuse me. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Okay. We're just going to tune this. But some of you may not know what this is. It looks like a strat, doesn't it? It does. But it's not. Well, it sort of is, really. It's, it's by the folks at Exotic. And Exotic... Exotic used to make pedals. And then they went into making guitars. And this is one of them. Now... What is the difference between an exotic and that master built over there? Absolutely nothing. No, it's a little bit different. So they roast their necks. So this has got a roasted maple neck. And, oh. Uh, tuning. It'll be the death of me. And um, they have stainless steel frets and a few things like that. <laughs> This is a mean beast. Uh, it, it did come as a three single coils, this one, but the owner went and put a humbucker in it because he likes to rock. I like to rock as well. I've got it going through the Freedman. We'll have a listen through the Blues Junior in a minute. But um, And uh, the funny thing about today's audio is I have it going into the desk, but I also have a room mic wedge. So you get a little bit of, a little bit of both. <laughs> Get a bit of that live sound. Woohoo, that's me. Uh, I don't play clean. Not on not on these things. Okay, let's see who's on. Michael's up. Barber Hawker, but it says happy eats, happy drinks, Malaysian street food. Okay. You can do anything. If you're a white guy, you can go to Brunswick and do whatever you want. And I support that. I do. I'm, uh, I'm all for it. Okay. Before we demo this, let's take some viewer letters. Let's have a look. I like the letters from the ladies. I don't want to hear dad jokes. I like ladies telling jokes. Um... Bum 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 bum. Ding ding ding. These are almost. <laughs> dun 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 dun. dun. Uh, okay. This one's okay. Lisa. Lisa from um, uh, Sandringham here in Melbourne. Lisa from Sandringham. Hello. Thanks for tuning in. Well, thanks for sending this in. You probably sent it into our other show, The Power Hole, but now we have a new show. It's called Panda Show and Tell, coming up every week, I think, maybe without the, the uh, air con in the background. Um, <clears throat> it says, uh, Lisa from San Diego, can you spot the blind man at the nudist beach? Mm. It's not hard. She said, <laughs> oh my Okay, let's play. Uh, should we keep it in D minor? Let's do it. So <clears throat> this is an exotic in D minor. We're going to play, or we'll, we'll play some dirt, and then we'll we'll run it clean and have a bit of a listen. Let's go with the 
the humbuck to start with. This will be fun. Here we go. This is fun. This is um, this has been used by professionals. Michael Zapp says our chef is Malaysian. Hmm. Okay. I bet they look like me. <laughs> oh dear. Sometimes I make myself laugh. Right. Just like that. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Um. This is used by a professional, not me, I'm far from a professional, um, and uh, I won't name his name, but he was involved with the Lord, and I mean the real Lord, yeah, I don't believe in it, but anyway, he was out touring with the Lord, doing Lord stuff, and um, I don't mean the chick from New Zealand either, I mean like the Lord, you know. So he was in a Jesus rock thing, and um, he did the, the world with Jesus. Panda. Panda's move. How about that? Okay. Mm. But anyway, I think he's given up the Lord now. Uh, and with giving up the Lord, he had to give this away. So this is in here. He, he switched to the dark side. He's gone Gibson. But um, exotic in Daphne Blue. American made. All American. Uh, this is how the humbucker put in, but it comes with a single call. It's got the roasted neck. Mmm, fresh out of the oven. Okay, moving right along. Now, I haven't even played this one. Oh, you want to hear it clean? Okay, let's do it clean. Hold it. Let me just shove this in here. Whack it in the... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We've got a bit of a buzz going on. Let's see if I can... Okay. We'll just see if we can get rid of that buzz. There we go. This is the exotic going through the Blues Junior. <laughs> I need 
need some more uh, need some more treble. <laughs> Through the okay, we're gonna put that panda. Where are you going? No, panda, no. Now, before I lose my hound, I might have to leap over there, and grab the hound. All right, hold on. Here we go. We're gonna go. This is life. You can tell I'm so prepared. Now, we're gonna grab something. Ooh, Jesus, look out, panda. Oh, god, I just dropped it on the animal. Okay, we're back. There you go. That was easy live tv we love it okay what am i back with now well i don't even know how to describe it really uh shredder shredder guitar relict this is a charvel what can i say it's like a super strat from the 80s um everything's upside down god knows if i can even tune it while i'm tuning it what we might do is um we might oh, it's got locking tuners. All right, we're just gonna have to go with it. We're gonna have to go. Okay, this thing hoots long. How do you even change the? Oh, look, you change the pickup. You change the pickup. It's got a push pull. Um, <laughs> I should know this. A push pull pot. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's like when your dad finds something. Oh my goodness, look at this TikTok. Look at this OnlyFans. <laughs> wow, this is cool. Ooh, that hurts a long. Wow, this is really fun. I can't believe it. It's like driving a sports car. Um, this is a um. I can't even remember what it is. It's a signature model. I'll tell you exactly what it is. Are you ready? It's a young person signature model. I think a, a, a shredder from the north. Uh, someone will tell me in a minute. It is from the north, where my relatives are from. I thought I was French, and then I did my DNA test, and I'm like a horrible Viking sort of creature. It's um, a Henrik Danhag limited edition signature how about that what do you guys think of that now we've we've tuned it um we are taking the um we are taking letters from the ladies today jokes from the ladies if you have a joke and you're a lady you're not interested in the guys anymore sorry guys we've done enough guy jokes if you have a joke and you're a lady uh you can send it through here to us and we will read it out. This is from Denise in Townsville. Oh, okay, Townsville, right, this makes sense. What do you say after, no, I can't say that, Denise. Uh, okay, here's what, no, I can say this one. She's giving me another one. Denise says, what does basic training, this is a military joke from Denise in Townsville, who's obviously in the military. She says, what does basic training have in common with sex? You have to pound the privates. <laughs> Thank you, Denise from Townsville. Oh, oh, Panda almost went off. Panda, come back here. <laughs> You could only see what the audience saw there, the live audience. Panda went uh, face first into the wedge, into the uh, the live wedge here for the fractal. All right, let's see who's on with us. It's the same people. Dick Pleash, General Dick. 
uh, Michael's out. Okay. We're coming to the end of our first show and tell. I'll listen to it back and correct all the errors. This is a Charvel shred machine. Um, shall we have some fun? Yeah, let's do it. Impressive. Guys from Charvel, really doing it. Humbucker, the switch. flabbergasted. I am. I'm not a huge Charvel fan. I'm not, but now I am. This thing is killer, I've got to say. It's like, I, these are not that expensive. It is super fun. I'm going to play another track. It's so much fun. Um, hmm. Psychedelic Blues Jam? Uh, jeez. Hmm, oh, man. I don't even know. Maybe I won't. Um, it's kind of killer, though. What do you guys think? What do the two people watching think? <laughs> When are you going to start doing walk streams? Michael Zapp says. Um, 
That's a good question. That's a good question. Might have more viewers. <laughs> it's probably got more viewers. Don't worry, the viewers will come back. The viewers will come back. I've been here before, man. I've been in the I've been in the shears before. With General Pleash. Sixty eight in the NAM. Do you know, um I'll tell you a NAM story and I'll keep the I'll keep the reverb going. Mm. I'll tell you why I, I I'll tell you why I dig General Pleash. He was a student of mine. And this is why you know he's in the NAM. Because one day he came for a guitar lesson and he'd stepped in <coughs> some dog poo. And I would think, mm, there's probably a thousand dogs pooing in the same spot for at least six months. But he stepped in it. <laughs> And he brought it in to the shop and he sat down. <laughs> and it didn't face him one bit. And we had a guitar. <laughs> we had a guitar lesson. And then he looked at me and he went, crap. Literally. <sighs> okay. Here we go. We're going to do do something hmm do something else this is fair this is fair Charvel let's go neck Oh, 
That'll do. That was killer. <clears throat> if there's one thing I get from this show, it'll be that. Uh, that is absolutely killer. I don't want to play it like that. I don't even want to play it clean because I think if I play it clean, I probably won't like it. But that is amazing. For the money. Wow. Charvel, the winner. <clears throat> now, let me recap. Let me recap. Ladies and gentlemen, the licks are flying nicely, I know. Michael Zapp, get yourself a Charvel. You know what? <clears throat> Don't worry. Michael, let me give you a little bit of advice from an older person who's been in the NAM with General Fleish. Don't worry about what people think, especially in the North. Grab yourself a reverse headstock Charvel <laughs> and a poodle mullet and shred. It's so much fun. I, I seriously, I... Let me switch this. Let's ask Panda. Panda, what do you think? Pour up or pour down? Oh, man, so hot here. Poor little dog. All right, folks, that might be it. A grand total of 20,000 viewers today. <laughs> a little bit disappointing. Um, good to be back. We'll try and uh, do this a bit more regular, and then the, um, the engine will uh, push us out there. Welcome to Panda's Show and Tell, uh, episode one. Hopefully the audio is all right, and my uh, my pick of the day. I mean, honestly, like the uh, the master built's great, but that Charvel is just hooting the line. It's really blown away. It's unbelievable. Okay, cool. So we did a Charvel master built Strat, an exotic, and a PRS Silver Sky custom color, and my my winner is the cheapest of the lot, the Charvel. Um, the, the Swedish metal rocker dude's signature. It's a winner. All right, folks, we're out of here. My thanks to Red Duck <clears throat> for this beer. My thanks to Panda for still being alive, just. I don't know if you can see her there on the screen. Can you still see her? She's there. And uh, we'll be back again. I might just, I don't know. I'll try and do it at the same time, maybe Saturday afternoons, Friday afternoons, drive time. Panda show and tell. Thank you, Panda. Thanks, everyone. We're going to go. Thank you, Michael Zapp. Thank you, General Pleash. And uh, we're out of here. Bye, everyone. <laughs>